Hello, Shelby County, and welcome to the final episode, season one of One on One with Dr. Brooks. I'm excited today to be at Shelby County High School, home of the Wildcats. I'm also thrilled to have the opportunity to speak to a student that I got to meet uh, maybe a month or so ago, um, and I want her to share some things that she's involved with, but there's an interesting story um, to this, and I think you all will really enjoy hearing from our student today, and I want to introduce you all to Alora Jackson. Alora, how are you? Good, how about you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Absolutely. So I want to talk about something that's near and dear to me, of course, being a teacher um, has always been my passion. And I know that you've been a part of Future Teachers of America. So if you will, just tell us about Future Teachers of America and what that has meant to you. Yeah, so we uh, just got this program this year with the pilot program, and it has been a blessing for me to be a part of that program because I've been able to really learn what it means to be a teacher and the rules and the schedules of, of teaching. It's very nice. Yeah. It's a busy, busy job, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. So with that said, the Future Teachers of America program has really inspired you, I guess, to want to be a teacher. Yes, Good. very much so. Awesome, awesome. And I will tell you, Laura, we are we are in need of teachers. You probably know all too mm -hmm. well that there's a teacher shortage. So we're excited about you know what the future holds for you as it relates to being a teacher. So I have to ask you, you know, you're in uh, the Columbiana community. Uh, once you become a teacher, we're just going to claim that right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Once you become a teacher, do you think that you will want to come back to your home community? Oh, definitely. Okay. I'm a homebody at heart, and so yeah. I've loved this community. Good deal. Good deal. All right. All right. Side question to that. Tell the audience what you love about this community. I love the togetherness. It's everyone knows each other, and everyone tries to be a part and help each other out. I got you. I got you. Well, good. And I feel that way. Of course, I don't live in the community, but of course, my office is here. And so I get to meet people from the community and everyone's so friendly and um, inviting. And so I can see why you would want to come back and support your home community. Um, tell us a little bit more about some of the experiences that you've had in the FTA program. What are what are some things that you guys you know do in the program? Yeah, so the very first thing that we did as a program was that we read to the local elementary schools Christmas stories and it was very nice to be able to meet those kids uh, and just come introduce our program and especially this it was the last week that had a career uh, day program at an elementary school, Shelby Elementary, and we got to talk about being a teacher and letting them know that teaching is fun, it's exciting, and you get to learn new things every day. Sure. Even though you're teaching students yourself, you learn things yourself. And you, we've been able to just put out into our community that being a teacher is very, like, is a blessing in itself, what sure. you learn. Sure. And and I agree with you. I think that for many of us who are in education, we see it as a ministry, if you will, for us. Mm -hmm. um, we I believe that education, you know, is something that brings great purpose to your life. You're in many respects changing the world. So um, 
I applaud you for wanting to pursue that. Now you have a little pin on. Tell us a little bit about what that pin means. Yeah, so uh, I found this at a th- uh, antique store ah. and I fell in love with it because I was like, this is uh, just shows exactly what I want to be when I grow up and or when it's coming that's coming up true <laughs> when I grow up when you grow up yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um so I've worn this to about every single uh event for FTA sure awesome awesome well I want to kind of speak to of course you're a senior um graduation is next week um what are the things that you think that you will remember the most about your school experience oh Definitely, probably the my band experience and my experience in the FTA program. Yeah. Those are the two that I have definitely been with. Well, I've been with band for a long time, but I think that even though I was only in FTA for one year, it equals out to the what I've been taught in sure. each program. Sure. I've taught. I've been taught my like leadership skills in those programs and it's helped me talk to larger groups of people awesome awesome i and i can speak to that because you did a presentation at the board and i just loved your energy i thought you were really positive so i'm super excited that we got a chance to speak so um on another note um and this is a question that i've spoken to with many of the students that i've had a chance to interact with You know, we've had a couple of difficult years. Tell me how you feel like um, those years have impacted you. What have you learned from them? And what will you take from those difficult years into your role as a teacher? I've definitely learned that community is everything Mm -hmm. because with that time away from my friends and a lot of my family, I learned that you you don't know what's gone when you're like you don't know what's important to you till it's gone sure and community is definitely important in that and so i will definitely remember to always cherish the things that's close to me yeah. before they're gone and i think that with the pandemic schools really kind of realize just how important teachers are yeah. and the relationship between this teacher to the student. Absolutely. And I hope that schools and communities realize that as well, um, because I believe that our teachers are the backbone of any community. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I feel that teachers are the first trusted adult outside of the home. So I think as a teacher, we take all of that very seriously. So. Um, what's next for you on your journey? I know you're, I, I'm claiming you being a teacher, but mm-hmm. tell us what's next for you on your der- journey after graduation. Yes, I'm planning on attending the University of Montevallo and majoring in collaborative elementary education. And I want to take sign language courses. Ah. Uh, my goal is to have an inclusive classroom, meaning I'm able to hold both special and general education yeah. in the same room because I have a personal belief that they grow up, like children grow up kinder in an environment where you have both the general and special abilities. Sure. And uh, I hope to one day teach a school for the deaf and hard of hearing. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't wait for that. Very good. Very good. Well, you have chosen a very good university. That's my alma mater. Mm-hmm. So kudos to you on that. Go Falcons. Go Falcons, <laughs> for sure. And again, we're just excited that, you know, you are going into the field of education. And, you know, I would encourage others to think about it. It's I always say that education is probably one of the last noble professions in the world. Um, and I think we still are the people that can change the world and make it a better place. So, Alora, thank you so much for joining me today on this podcast. Certainly, this is a great show to sum up um, the season with um, because I get an opportunity to speak to another amazing student. But not only that, one that I could look to for the future 
um, as a future employee for our school district. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Thank you for talking with me. Absolutely. And Shelby County, thank you so much for tuning in to One on One with Dr. Brooks this season. Uh, as you can see, um, and I've mentioned many times, we have amazing students in every one of our communities. And um, it is a blessing to be able to serve Shelby County Schools. It is a blessing to get to work with such wonderful teachers, students, families. We truly demonstrate what quality education is, and I think we demonstrate what a quality community is. So thank you all for tuning in to these episodes. I want to thank Mr. Brian Pope for his production of this podcast. But more importantly, I want to thank you for all of your support over the last few years. And we look forward to seeing you in another season of One on One with Dr. Brooks. Take care.